I'm Jen, and I'm the Community Manager for Cards Against Humanity. I'm Trin, and I'm the Events Manager for Cards Against Humanity. And, and it's, it's the, the morning. morning! Jen and Trin, in the morning, Jen and Trin have stuff to say. Good advice, in the morning, to fix your shit for the rest of the day. Recently, we told you guys to ask us questions about what it's like to work for Cards Against Humanity. So we got some questions through Twitter and our Tumblr blog, and we're going to answer them now. Let's do it. Let's answer them. Okay, the first question was, uh, what is your favorite autumnal craft? And this is a question for Trin. Gourds. Gourds. Just putting gourds in places. It's my favorite craft and my favorite hobby. It's the best thing I do here. Jen, um, this one's going to be for you. What constitutes a shitty card suggestion? So we get a lot of card suggestions through the form on our site and people just email in their suggestions or just give them a person all the time. A shitty card suggestion is one that lacks perspective or point of view. Um, we like the game to be crass and gross and offensive, but we don't like it to bully people specifically. Jen, why does it burn when I fart? And I'm going to hand this next one off to Jen because as our community manager, she answers like 98% of the emails that come through here. If you get a funny response, it's Jen, even if it's signed by somebody else. It's a somewhat well-known fact that you jokingly mock customers when responding to emails and such. And I like that you do, but I'm curious to know if slash when you feel the need to rein it in. Is there ever a time that you just help a person without the snark, and how do you determine which way to handle things? We get close to 100 emails a day, so I would say about 700 a week. Of those 700, I would say maybe one or two of them are pure snark. Um, the rest of them were, were politely sarcastic or we were mildly teasing, but overwhelmingly were helpful and informative, and we always give something back, whether it's a joke or a compliment or a free thing. Um, so that doesn't mean our emails are dry. I just tend to wager on being funny rather than being uh, mean or bullying. Um, and I rate it in completely, like no sarcasm, if the person is legitimately upset for a legitimate reason, like maybe someone their order was messed up. Um, fortunately, those don't, don't come through very often. Um, and my favorite emails are the ones where people just ask to be bullied, like they just want to be teased, that's why they email in, and then we really let them have it. Why is working for Cards Against Humanity so weird? Who's your favorite doctor from Doctor Who? Well, as the resident Whovian in the office, I think that I can answer this one, and I will objectively say with 100% certainty that the 11th Doctor is the best of all the Doctors. And if you disagree, I hope that Stephen Moffat writes your death, which means that you'll die three or four times, each more emotionally painful and implausible than the last. I don't understand that. The last question that we have is one we get like all the time, uh, and it is, what is the ETA on Expansion 4? Well, we actually have some news to share on the next expansion. Um, excited to tell you that it will be... Yeah, so we're really excited. So uh, look forward then. Well guys, we're going to be taking your questions literally forever. So if you have a question, then you can tweet it at us. I'm at Trin and Tonic. At Jen Dangerous. And that has two N's. Don't forget the second N. The N stands for amazing. <laughs> On that note, I'm Jen. I'm Trin. It was, it was the, the morning. morning. And if you disagree, then I hope your dick suddenly and unexpectedly turns into a pile of dead mice. It's really dark. Then you have no taste, and therefore you'd be really easy to poison. I hope your eyeballs fall out of your face, roll into your mouth, and then you swallow them, and then you shit them out, but then you're still able to see out of your eyeballs through the whole thing.